Hello, welcome back here. I was hoping it would be Tomb Raider 2. You, you were hoping the game would have a sex change and turn into Tomb Raider 2? Yes. Can it ever turn into Tomb Raider 2? Um. Well, I mean, as somebody who really likes Tomb Raider 2, it would be nice, but I'm afraid not. Ah. Reality disagrees. I better not get stabbed. You just got. I, I believe you. Hey, Jesse, I think Jesse. I think you just got stabbed. Yeah. Well, I. But there's no point in me claiming to be anything other than awful at this game. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, the controls are awkward. What's that? What's it the jump? Um, Circle, I think. And what's the jump of the old games? Square. Yeah, that. Happens. Yeah, square and circle is the way round. Because in the other games, circle roll, square jumps. Here, it's the other way round. Who came up with that idea? Well, core, I suppose, but... <laughs> uh, right to the core, I believe. It's kind of, it's kind of weird how, how Tomb Raider is like the only, uh, game, the only game that core ever made, made a good game. And then they, and then they debunked. Oh, fuck off, you fucking Why did you walk... Wait, why did you walk... Uh, I thought maybe if I walk in the centre, <laughs> maybe I'll avoid both of them, so maybe they won't quite reach. Maybe I should do what any sensible person would do and try jumping <laughs> over them. No, better idea. Stealth walk. <laughs> um, bearing in mind, I've got that thing behind me chasing me that does kill me if it crush it and it'll crush me and roll over me. Uh, faster stealth walk. No, there is no fast stealth walk. Uh, like it. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm not going to just do Maybe I do need to jump over the things. Maybe uh, there is no spot where I'm out of reach. Maybe I do need to jump over them. You see that thing there? Yeah, yeah that, that kind of rolls over us and kills us and Can't you jump us. over it? No. Well, I don't know, can you? I've never tried it. Ha! Got it that time. Now, can you make it pass here? Just. So, okay, that thing is quite slow. I forgot to mention that. And now we go through this door. Those four faint items we collected unlocked this door. So, we can now go down here. Down these stairs, and down these other stairs, and down these other stairs, and hopefully this thing will lift for us, and it does. And then we does that more stairs? switch, which will hopefully open the other door, and it does, I guess. What? That's it? No. Oh. And and now we go down more stairs. How many more stairs do we climb down? And now we come to here, I guess. Um... Mm. Now, uh, I'm thinking the best way to go first... It looks like a freaking... looks like a boiler room. It could well be. Who knows. Talking of other games, though, obviously I've not... Um, hold on, this is where we're up to, isn't it? So I guess we'll save it with this one. Um, obviously, I've not played anything... Well, I... I let's, not, let's just... Exclude that brief an anniversary thing. Yeah. I've not played any. Okay, that was a horrendous jump. <laughs> I've oh, not okay. played anything after this game. However, from being on the Tomb Raider forum, obviously I have seen obviously stuff to do with other games. And just my opinion, personally, out of all the Laras, I think Legend Lara looks the nicest. Okay. Do you have an opinion? I don't. I don't know. I like them. Oh, I like them all. I just think I'm just talking about Lara's like physical appearance. I just think Legend Lara looks the nicest. It doesn't matter how they look; it's what they do that matters to me. Well, they're so easy at time. It makes it's me it's wonder like, how it's like, like it's like it's like back, 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 back in about 2012 when they first released a new trailer for the new Tomb Raider reboot, and then they. Uh, and then they got, they got questions saying, Oh, is Lara getting raped? So, what? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm also thinking, what? <laughs> what? Seriously, seriously, there was a, there were two, there was two, there was two games from Square Enix since, you know, uh, like, uh, she was owned by Square Enix now. Um, there was a trailer, a trailer came out, well, for two games most importantly that sticks out, which was Hitman Absolution and Tomb Ra the Tomb Raider reboot. Uh, you see, you literally see Lara like, get, get get captured. You know, hit, you know, just see this guy literally standing like say, almost, like hands against like say some sort of wall, saying, "I think you can get away from." Oh fuck! That's a bit of a detail. You see, like, you see this guy like, literally 
literally says, do you think you can get away from us, hey? And then, and then, and then, but then, and then, if you guess what happens, she does escape. Good. And I tell you, you said she does escape. She, she does escape. Good. The thing is, though, that's the, the thing is, though, should I tell you or should I not? Um, how much of a spoiler is it? Uh, well, if I tell you it's the first time she's ever done something. First time she's ever done something? Well, if I tell you it's the first time she technically has done what she's done. Get off the ladder, get off the ladder, I want jump. Okay, I'll tell you this one, that's all. It's technically the first time she's ever shot a human. Shot a human? But she's shot loads of humans. It's a reboot! Oh well, yeah, I know that, but... <sighs> oh, will I stop... I'm trying to make a, I'm trying to make a jump here, this ladder is getting in my way. That's, uh, that's where it's like Hitman out solution. Oh, get off the ladder! I, I, I am not, I'm not joking. They put an app out to try and put targets in everybody, and, one, and some of the features you can put on there is like, it's like small cock, big breast, and all that stuff. What? There's a, there, was a, there was an app that they released for the uh, released for Hitman out solution to put like fake, to you know, put fake uh, hits on, and then actually you can put some very contritious, like say, questionable things on there, like small penis, small big breast. Um, and, a, and, and big vagina. I'm not. And I'm not joking. I am literally not joking. They actually put that out there. Good for them. And they have to get off. <laughs> we don't play. Lara Croft is one of those people who I wish was real, because obviously I'm a big Lara Croft fan. But then that's kind of self-explanatory, isn't it? Oh yeah. Well, well, does anyone get? Does anyone care about a question you're about? What about um, Lara Croft and the uh, Guardian of Light? I've ha I've never played that game. Is it a core game? No, it's a, it's a crystal game. Oh, well, I've never played it. It's a download on the PS3. Oh, well, I've never played it. Well, it's a... Will you grab the ladder, Lara? It's, it's not exactly what you, what you call... Ladder... Uh, it's not exactly what you call a... Kind, not exactly a Tomb Raider game, but it's like a... It's a Tomb Raider from a top-down perspective. And, it, and essentially... I don't know how you heck you describe it. It's also there's also corp in there. It's what? It's also it's also corporative. Yeah. And that and that game actually got praised out praised like man. I haven't even played that game yet. I mean so much and that that game actually got a sequel. I lost a bit of health there. Okay, that probably wasn't the smartest way to go about things. <laughs> what? Um, I'm just I'm just thinking about my health because I've. Well, I mean, set ninety four screwed me over by stabbing me so much. I don't know what his problem is. Maybe it's because all the negative things I said about this game in the past. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're distracted. Maybe you're distracted by the fact there's an app. There's an app that just targets people. Literally, li li I mean, literally. There, if you look at some of the stuff you put on there, it's, it's like a uh, head dip. Controls, be helpful. Controls, be helpful. What? Okay. Are you not used to being inverted or something? Oh, what? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to be in there. I want to be up there. <laughs> oh, great. What happened there? I'm just going to reload. You safe? Yeah, I saved. Ah, oh, something's telling me we're going to be here forever. I did practice this earlier. <laughs> oh, and that practice is paying off, isn't it? But granted, no, I'll call, granted everyone calls that the, uh, the recording curse. You do great, you do great when everyone's watching you, but the second you record, you play like an utter, utter idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Can I make it over there? Hey, look! Oh, look down there. Can you see the skeleton down there? Say hello to Mega Gamer. That skeleton down there is called Mega Gamer. What are you going to name him, Ross? I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to call him Mega Gamer. That skeleton down there is Mega Gamer. And he works for this plate. Oh, I made it over quite easy. The only thing is, there's that other one over there as well, isn't there? Um. Okay. Well, I'm looking for a rope above me, and I think I see it. Yeah. Well, the, the skeleton in the main area is called Set 94. The ones in Wrath of the Beast is Peeves, Sackboy, and DVD Spike. And down here in this area, we've got Mega Gamer. Those okay, are the names of the skeletons. Can you think of anybody else? Um, well, I mean, 
Um, there was the one in Neptune's Hall. Why don't you name that one? I just call it Flayed Swordman. Okay. <laughs> um, Re Breath of Hades didn't have any. Sanctuary of the Flame didn't have any. Um, that's it, isn't it? That's pretty much it. So, at the end of this level, you do meet a guy who, is, who I am going to name... There's a certain guy, and guess what I'm going to be naming him? Who? Ross. Why? But you'll meet him at the... Okay, well, okay actually, I'm jumping in the complete wrong place. You're going to meet him. There's a guy at the end of this level. He's some sort of mutated demon thing, and we're going to be naming him Ross. What? Mutated demon? Why call, why, why call me out to a demon? I'm not, I'm just calling him Ross. Right, where are we going now? Well, it'd be nice if I could make it over there, but then there's the reality of whether or not I will. So that's when saving comes in handy. Because mm -hmm. people watching are probably screaming at me, telling me that I'm not going to make it. <laughs> You're not going to make it! Listen to us! <laughs> Can't you hear us? <laughs> well, let's see. I can hear you screaming. I can hear you screaming. I'm not going to make it, and I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you all, and I'm and I'm right to. Says <laughs> anyway. Tried to now, now, now. Tried to now. Tried to now. What you gonna say? Ah, says 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 you. The guys who can't make it. Even though they probably never happened. Only thing is, I made it. I made it over, and I didn't make it back. I tried to make it back, but I made it lower. But um, I think low is where I want to be now. I want to be over there, but I think I want to be on the lower one. But I'm going to jump anyway. And... Okay, I made that with ease. I don't know why I failed that other. That's a good question. Why did you help me with the? The jumps are a bit weird. Now I'm going to hope that I actually. Grab it. Okay. And I thought I'd. Um, I might be able to do the save because some traps kick in at this bit. Some quite nasty traps. Does it involve fire? No, it involves sharp objects. The sort that we want to be avoiding. Okay. Yes, that's what like, 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 like the game says. We recorded this at 5 o'clock. Yes, I don't know what this game is up to. It, it's, just, it's just your system. My, my PS2 that I've got literally keeps resetting itself to zero, zero, zero every time I turn it on. Oh. Now, you see that? I want to be avoiding that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to completely ignore any common sense. I'm going to jump! jump. I find yeah, it weird how out. it worked out. I find it weird how two of them are green, two of them are one, two, three. Okay, where's the orange one? What? I saw one of them was orange. Oh, okay. Don't know, don't care. Now we go back this way. Now we re pull this, and then it reopens that door and re triggers the darkness. And then reopens this door, and we rerun up. Well, we don't rerun up because we've only we run re down these stairs. But now we run up these stairs because previously we'd only actually run down them, but now we run up them. And the roof of my mouth is getting sore and dry for some reason. I don't know because it's been speaking too much. Quite possibly. And I, I, I had a cold and a sore throat last all, all of last week. Yeah, that seems. Ugh. And I still have a little bit of a cold. Uh, it happens this time of the year. Flu season! What's gonna happen? Do you get infected by swine flu? I hate this guy, I always get crushed. I want to crush ya. Well, at least you didn't get crushed. Oh! Well, but you got stabbed instead. <laughs> Actually, sorry, but I need the health. Sorry, but I don't want to be using health packs in this level. Sorry, need the health. Sorry. Now you are going to get crushed. I don't want to be using health packs. <laughs> the worst thing is, the worst thing is, aha, mate, stab. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been epic, actually, if, if I was on less health and I made it across. And I'm like, ha, I'm not getting crushed this time. And then it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, could be worse. What, what if it's all reason Gary or something that starts to come out? <laughs> <laughs> I am! 
to be honest, I have had less bad timing lately. <laughs> I don't really know what it is, but lately I have had less bad timing. Both <laughs> dead. You're your, you're your fastest crusher. I'm not saying anything. The only reason why you ever did that to any bad time is you don't speak. Can you make it through here, Sonic? <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't you, even see you, that. You didn't even get hit! Oh. I, didn't even, I didn't even see those. <laughs> did you, didn't even, you didn't even get hit! Granted, you probably lost a little bit of health, but... You didn't get hit. That's weird. I actually didn't even see that. How much did I not see that? <laughs> I, I, I wasn't really paying attention to, uh... There again, my observation skills can be awful sometimes. I mean, it's like a Mario you... Party video. Hey, right? hey, 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 Jesse, you want your dry to say about those? What? Looks like someone needs to go to sex savers. <laughs> Ironic, because I actually have brilliant vision, but... Yeah. When we were playing Mario Party, Mario was in the centre of the screen, and yet I didn't see him. You'll see that, um, You'll see that video at some point. Now where's Bonehead? Oh, back here. Bonehead, where are you? Bonehead? There he is. I think Bonehead is a nicer name. Ah. Yeah, what we did is... You see those things? It rose. Yeah, what we did is cause those things to... thing. To rise up. So we can now jump on them. And then... Jump onto the other one. And then jump onto the other one. And then wait for the other one. And then jump onto the other one. And then wait for it to rise. Wave bye bye to set 94. Last time we're going to be seeing him. What was it? Was Bonehead. Okay. Sorry? What was it? Was it was Bonehead. Yeah, whatever. But guess what comes crashing through the wall? Set 94's clone! Run away! Run away from this clone! <laughs> you say this, you say this game sucks? <laughs> Does that break as well? No. But, um, yeah, Set 94 is so angry about the negative stuff I've said about this game in the past that he has to put a clone on me. Well, I said, I said, said Beeper is on the key side, I see literally, literally sucks. And over there, we have Peeves' clone. Hey, Peeves. <laughs> well, <laughs> Peeves' clone. What happened to your, happened to your flame sword? I guess it burnt out. And there we have Sackboy's clone. Again, well, Boy, then. Ooh, he took a swing at me. The others didn't take a swing at me, did they? No, Peeves did. Uh, the other, other Skyland did. What, Set 94's clone? No, the other one. Oh. I was going to say, some of them are more vicious than others. I need to be making note of this. <laughs> Ooh, got to deduct points out of that. Oh, what does that need? Uh, to progress. To and which one's that that's got his back to me? Is it Sackboy's clone? That was the second one. Is it Sackboy's clone? I don't remember. Or is it Peeves' clone? I don't know, but... Say hey to Sackboy's clone. Keep your back to yeah, me. Yeah, keep your back to me. Keep your back to me. Keep your back to me. Thank you. Yeah, Jesse, what, 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 what for some reason, what for some reason the other guy's on the screen and says, hey, why didn't you mention me? Um, because I have a horrendously awful memory and I can only remember names that are easy to remember. Any names that are complicated to remember is too much for my pathetic, feeble, narrow-minded brain. Do you struggle now? Ha, huh, you've been taking your psychic medication, have you? For goodness sake. That doesn't make any sense! She gets stronger by pushing something! Yeah, maybe I should do that. 
Oh, Peeves and Sackboy's clones are coming at me. Dodge. Good. Yeah. The first time you just open a door, you feel stronger. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. No. I've, I've opened billions of doors. Do I feel stronger? No. <laughs> no, you have to... Yeah, before pushing a door was adequate, now we have to push stone walls. Uh -huh. By the way, you're not, don't just mention you, you're not only here for this level, you're also here for galleries under siege in Von Croy's apartment. Did I mention that? No, you didn't. Oh. Well, so I'm here, to, I'm here for, for two more of two, oh, two rid of this. Ah. Yeah, you're here for three levels, Hall of Seasons and the mini levels that surround it, and... Um, Galleries under siege and Von Croy's apartment. Fortunately, they're at much shorter levels, fortunately. But um, Galleries under siege at the end does have some very time-consuming cutscenes. You're going to be lucky though, because you're going to be here for Galleries under siege, which means you're going to be you're going to be you're going to personally witness the best cutscene in the entire game. Which is actually you by that. There's a cutscene, there's several cutscenes in the galleries under siege, and one of them is the best cutscene in the game. It involves a certain guy called Curtis. You know Curtis? No. Oh. Well, a guy called Curtis who... I, 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 don't, I don't click this, but I just don't know Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, when I... Um, the level when I went to see Bernard, had I done things the Pierre way, then you would have been introduced to... Well, you wouldn't have been introduced to Curtis, but okay, I've, I've messed this up. I, I, I've messed this up. I'm gonna die, but um, I, I've messed it up. But um, if you do things the Pierre way, there's a, you see some cutscenes involving Curtis. But um, obviously, I didn't do things the Pierre way, so we didn't see those cutscenes. But that makes me think that the Pierre way might be more official because it sort of makes you see Curtis earlier on. But not to worry. Okay. Yeah, I knew I, was, I wasn't going to make that. Well, this bit, get... you need the strength upgrade to do this bit, and even then it's close. I don't know. If she's that strong, maybe she's going to hold on forever. <laughs> what? Did I tell you that I've actually been watching Digimon again? Which one? Well, I, I'm actually, I've actually started. I, I'm re-watching season one. I'm then going to re-watch season two and three, and skip then, skip and, then two. Watch, and then watch season four for the first time, and all the seasons after it. Uh, well, stop messing up. They, they, they have, they have a fish. They have a fish. The uh, dub season six over here. Is that the last season? At the moment. All right. So I'm going to watch seasons four, five, and six for the first yeah, time. And for record, they, for record, that, that is that is still run on TV. So. And yeah, um, I've actually, yeah, I, I'm season one, and I'm already up to, I've almost watched it, I'm, I'm up to the episode where Piedmon gets defeated. Ah, ah, wait, how, when did you start watching that? When did you start watching it? It was literally like a week ago or something. Wow, you, wow, you, 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 you watch for them fastly. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we get to this up here, we get to meet Ross. What? We get to meet Ross. Do, 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 do. The red demon, the red mutated demon thing. Say hello! To Ross when he features. 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 Ultra Vigilis Umbram, Eche Veritas. Through the spirit of the Keeper, behold the truth. You know, don't read stuff off. If you read stuff off of. And Ross is making some funny noises. And there he is! Say hi to Ross! I hey Ross! Even, I can't even see! What the heck? Um, the reason why I'm crawling is because he can't attack you when you crawl. <laughs> Which I can't even look up, but... Basically... Um, if you stand up, the red demon, Ross, attacks you. But if you crawl, he, he, he actually goes over you. So the only so what, way do I, what the hell do I wear a cloak? You're wearing one right now, aren't you? Cloak! You're wearing one right now. That's a coat! Not a cloak! Did I not pick that up? 
There's a difference between a coat and I'm a joking. coat. I'm joking. <laughs> but basically, the way to safely get around is to crawl. If you crawl, he can't attack you because he, he just goes over you. If you stand up, he attacks you. If why? you crawl, you're safe. So that's why it's very important to crawl when you loot this bit, because otherwise Ross will attack you. Oh, what? What does he do? He just, he just gets in the attack, sees the last one, like, oh. Oh. Do you, do, you, do you see him? I was paying attention. Now this bit, we actually, what we need to do, I'm just going to wait for him to move. Okay, basically you need to shoot him until you stun him, and you can then safely grab the mandatory item, and... So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. And the best weapon to be using is probably going to be this lovely powerful thing. Oh. The Desert Ranger. Susie and I'm Milliliter. Time to take Ross down. Ow, 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 Hey, Ross. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Oh, what do now you I think you're shooting me? Now, where's the item? Where's the item? Where's the item? Where's the item? Oh, wait, I've got to get some, I've got to I haven't done to Ross yet. Ow. Oh, shit. Ross! <laughs> what do you kill me for? You, you want, well, do you want you, me to make progress? You don't want to shoot me. Do you want me to make progress? Do you <laughs> want me to make progress? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I can see! <laughs> That's the thing, though. I was here, I was here. I don't know. The only thing is, I, I don't know where, I don't actually know where the item is. And it doesn't stun for long, so you don't have long. You don't have long, because you don't stun him for long. So you don't, you don't have long. That's the, that's the gist. The, I suppose the gist of what I'm saying is you don't get much time. Ow. Do you know bullets oh, hurt? Shit. Hey, do you know how bullets hurt? Really? I never guessed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I need to maybe I need to be a bit smarter here. Yeah, use a shotgun. <laughs> if only I had a really powerful rocket launcher or something. No, 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 we need to go to Resident Evil 4, get some motion, get the infinite rocket launcher. <laughs> What are you buying? Welcome, stranger, as you would say. <laughs> Not enough cash, stranger. Oh, that's, that's a pathetic gun, that's a pathetic gun. Not enough cash, stranger. I've tried my makeup for it. Didn't you hear me? I said not enough fucking cash. I've tried my makeup. Why do I need makeup? You need it more than anyone does. Has he been stunned? I guess. Oh, uh, you should have sat you from the looks of it. Is it, okay, stunned! St stay stunned! St oh, wait, oh, it was there! Where's it gone? I hate it, it moves! <laughs> okay, it's over there! Drop dead, you stupid thing! Well, don't fight, you know, don't oh. die! So, no kills run, don't die, just get stunned instead! Music <laughs> is all tense! <laughs> Watch it move! Hey, it stopped me that time! <laughs> just suddenly oh, don't you dare kill me! You've got me bad timing! <laughs> In, through, down the stairs. Okay, now this whole place floods and gets destroyed. Oh yeah, we're actually going to be, we're actually entering very briefly Tomb of Ancients again, and then the Archaeological Dig again, but we're just going to, we're just going to include this in the video, because it's very, 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 very brief. This will end when we get to Galleries Under Siege. Is that understood? Understood. Good. Hey, okay. full health! Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, I did. I did. I, I did not want the demon to die. Instead, I just wanted him to get stunned, so I could then grab the thing and leave. Let's hope you didn't kill him. Because um, this is a no kills run, you know. So we need to be careful sometimes. Um, now, in Tomb Raider Three, um, in Willard's Lair, is it called? The f no, Meteorite Carven. Um, stunning Willard actually counts as a kill, and that raises the question of whether or not stunning the Red Demon should count as a kill. And my response to that is no. Um, and my reason then, I ain't got any. <laughs> because I said so. How that? Well, it's just the only reason. It's just it's very, very, con very controversial in my opinion that stunning would count as a death. And I don't want to be here. I want to find there should be there should be some bandages somewhere. There should be some bandages somewhere. But I just think it's very, very controversial oh, there they are, that stunning would count as a kill. And I think it's ridiculous that it counts as a kill in Tomb Raider 3. But in Tomb Raider 3, he actually like, falls to the ground and collapses. The demon just floats. 
So it's just so controversial, and I wouldn't do it anyway. So I just don't count it as a kill. Right then, I'm up, upwards to freedom, hopefully. To the archaeological dig. Again, very briefly. Fair enough. Then it's on to galleries under siege. Fortunately, we're saved by a block, so we can get up, and then get up, and then get I don't over. I don't, I don't, I don't, with a block, a block. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that guy from my party too. Fish, fish in it. <laughs> and we've returned to Louvre galleries, but this time it's galleries under siege. And that is the end of Hall of Seasons. Thank God. <laughs> why, why don't I like that level? It's long and difficult. Long and difficult. Okay. That's all there is to say about it. So I will be saving over this one, I guess. And that's actually the end of the level. Um, broke it down to two parts, I suppose. Okay. So thank you, everyone, for watching, and hope you enjoyed. <laughs>